It is a step closer to closure for a family mourning a Hampton man. Killed in a double shooting nearly three years ago, police arrested one within days of the death of 21-year-old Taekwon Woods. But the second suspect went on the run evading capture all of this time. That is until now. Tonight on your side's Liz Kilmer joins us with more on this really big arrest list. Yeah, Tom and Anita, after nearly three years on the run, 28-year-old Larry Scott was arrested yesterday in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Now, he's the second suspect accused in a shooting that left one man in critical condition and killed Woods. I spoke with his family members today. Some had feared Scott would never be captured, but now that he has been, they're overjoyed. We've been waiting on this moment for a very long time now. After nearly three long years, both suspected killers of Taekwon Woods are behind bars. I was just excited. I started screaming and hollering and crying. I didn't know what to do. Taekwon's mom, Stephanie, recalled the detective's phone call as she FaceTimed with us from Charlotte. She moved there to start over after her son's murder in July of 2014. It's been hell. Investigators say Taekwon was discovered shot to death on North Back River Road. Within days, police arrested 22 year old Calvin Schofield. But the second suspect, Larry Scott, went on the run. Nobody really knew anything about him until this happened. Yeah. So it's kind of crazy, but I just felt like my brother got killed for no reason. He didn't deserve that. And I feel like it was over nothing, over a female. That was ridiculous. Through their grief, family feared as time went by that Scott would forever be a fugitive. You know, I felt like, are we ever going to get him in custody? You know, my son is dead. The, he needs to turn himself in. Saturday, police in Fayetteville, North Carolina, got word that Scott had been living there. They arrested him Monday. Stephanie Woods looks forward to his day in court. In the meantime, she and others mourn her son. And that's going to be an empty spot in our heart forever, but we'll have to learn to live, you know, without him being here and just be grateful that the guys that did this to him are going to be able to get sentenced and they're going to have to pay for what they did. Scott was also wanted for assaulting a police officer in February of 2015. He's now facing a number of charges being held currently at a jail in Fayetteville. Police there say he was armed as they went to arrest him, but he surrendered his gun. I'm Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side.